So hello everyone. Sorry I could not make a video on Sunday. Just came back from a youth retreat and um there is some good news though. I do have something for you today, you guys today. Um it's a it's a speech I had at this youth retreat uh, in front of about 20 kids and uh, 20 youth or at least as old as um I'm 25 at that youth retreat. So I was talking to them about um, the, the the steps to success are as easy as A, B, C, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, there's, there's probably more you can put in there. You can put the alphabet in there. But probably those eight, you know, probably those eight are most important keys to success. So, we start out with A. Now, A means accountability. Now, in life, you need to be accountable for yourself and um, take care of your, basically, what you're supposed to do or, you know, you're held responsible, really, for a lot of the things that um, you do, really, most of it all, you're accountable for. So. Being accountable in life is, is very important. And B, boldness. Um, being bold, like expressing how you feel, what you feel strongly about in life, like about your religion, you know, the faith like that, or even supporting politician or even a movement, you know. You're bold and you don't really care if people uh, persecute you for it. And, um... The first C means confidence. Now, confidence, there are two types, there are multiple types of confidence. Um, there's, um, the main two things you need to really have to have good confidence for success. First thing is, um, just, um, know who you are, you know. Know who you are, that like you're not gonna do, be the guy who does, you know, um, bad things or you're not going to be the guy who follows the crowd, you know. You know who you are, so that's how you won't follow really too many influences. You influence others because you know who you are. And um, then the second thing you need is a little bit of narcissism. Now, I know you've heard narcissism in a negative connotation, but when you use non uh, <laughs> narcissism, you're going to use that good kind, you know. That kind that, that really uplifts yourself, you know. That says, hey, you know, I'm capable of doing this. You know, a lot of the definition of narcissism is, is kind of a little bit of confidence. But there is a good kind of narcissism. So go look that up. And, you know, you basically everyone is a narcissist. Basically has one trait of narcissism in it. You know, it's not good to have all the traits like, um, you know, they're not really caring about how others feel. No, you have to empathize with them and all these kinds of things. But if you're able to balance and also respect yourself in a way, um, honor yourself, then yes, you, you can sell yourself to people. Like if you're going for a job interview or you have a personal essay, all these kinds of things. So that, that's going to be necessary to sell yourself. But the reason, what, what can make you really not look so much like a narcissist or follow the traits is, you know, giving God the glory. Because truthfully, we would not be here on our own accord, our own strength, without God. God delivers us all. He makes us all who we are. I mean, there is no situation you can be out of without God having helped you through it, even without you knowing. So... Just always give them the glory non-stop. To, but when you're trying to sell yourself for an interview, well, you have to kind of blow your own horn and say what you've done. So, yeah, that, that's going to be important. And But you don't have to, you know, make it grandiose or whatever. You just have to make it realistic and truthful. You know, sell yourself. So, past the second C, um, that, well, confidence you have. Have good character. So character. Now your character, how you carry yourself, your demeanor, your attitude, 
are important attributes of good character. So the better character you have, I think the more people you can influence, and which will lead to, um, which will lead to um, sort of a change in the world, you know. If you can start with yourself, your own character, how you treat other people, and how, how you, you really carry yourself, people are going to look at you as a leader. So great character is great for leadership. All right. And next, after that fourth, I mean the second C, we get to, um, so the D in A, B, C, C, D is discretion. So, you're going to be sort of discreet about information that you use. Um, discreet um, really means you're not really trying to, you're not really trying to um, say anything offensive or you're not really trying to share too much personal information. So being discreet is very important, you know, um, so people don't steal your um, ideas as, as well as, you know, know your thoughts because even if, it also means self-control, so if you're angry at someone, then, uh, you know, don't always um, yell at them because, let's say, you're, you're in traffic and um, someone cuts you off. So, do you honk and uh, blow at that car, and then once you realize that that car looks at you and knows, sees your face, you know, let's say that, that same day you're going for a job interview, and that same person ends up being your employer. I mean, you're, you're the guy who's interviewing you, or woman who's, um, who's kind of, uh, she's, um, let's say she's your... Even your waitress. I mean, all these other kinds of relationships involved in uh, your life, they all matter. People matter in your life, even the ones you think don't. So treat people right and use discretion with who you're talking to and the way you're talking to them. You know, be very respectful of that. And then the E stands for effective. So being effective in your world, um, you know... Lots of these marches are going on, you know, on, uh, in Washington and elsewhere. You know, being effective, you know, talking about things that can save lives, you know, for, let's say, charities or even raising awareness. Like, I was doing 22 push-ups for 22 days to raise awareness of uh, veteran suicide. So, you know, all these kinds of things can help you be effective. In the, in the world. You can also make it a donation type thing where people are donating money to that charity. So you can also do that as ways of being effective. And then the F stands for friendly. Being a friendly person to people in need or, or people you, you, you wouldn't normally really try to help out. But being friendly to them um, will help gain trust with people. And yeah, they will trust you. And you have friends because of this, being friendly, a nice person, generally, and merciful, you know. Even if they might seem annoying or whatever, just be friends with them because, and be patient with them. That's what's important. And now we get to gratefulness, the last one I'm, I'll put. Because you can really go to all 26 letters and go honesty, integrity, whatnot. But, um, or just for... But you can go spread out all the way to Z. But I'm going to stop at G. So G stands for gratefulness. So grateful, being grateful, showing you're grateful. Like you have parents that love you. You have a house. I mean, be grateful to God. First of all, for giving you all this stuff. Thank Him. Testify to it. Be grateful to your parents. Um, um, you know, so that you're grateful to them. One, one day... Um, fix them breakfast when they wake up, like, uh, or maybe, maybe one day, you know, if you're rich enough, like, if you have enough money, you could, uh, pay their bills for a month or even a year, or, <laughs> that's, I think they'd enjoy that or something. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, your parents, they help take care of you. Or if you don't have any parents, like, whoever helped take care of you, you know, you know it's just gratefulness because... Some of us really wouldn't be here without a lot of people in our lives, you know. Be grateful for them. Treat them right. 
Well, I think that's all I have for today. So, thank everyone for listening. And, alright.